Hey guys, it's Jessica from the Youth Services Department of the Finkelstein Memorial Library. Um, I'm here to do another craft with you guys today. Um, we are going to make some, um, a um, paper bag star decoration. So um, all you need for, well, I don't know where my blank ones went, but that's okay. All you need for this craft are some brown paper lunch bags. Um, you need a piece of string or ribbon, something like that. You need a hole punch. If you don't have a hole punch, you can probably get away with um, a pair of scissors and have a parent uh, punch the hole for you using scissors or a knife or something. Um, and you need a um, some sort of glue. You can use glue stick, you can use just regular school glue. I'm going to use a hot glue gun just because I have it and it's a little bit faster for when I'm uh, actually showing you guys how to do this. So as you can see, the first step is actually coloring all of your bags. So you wanna color the front, the back, um, under that little flap there, and you wanna color the sides as well. So, to do this, again, you can use whatever you want. So I didn't have any paint, so I used um, markers to color all of mine. But you can use crayons, you can use paint, you can use um, whatever medium is your favorite or whatever you have at home that works. So once you have all of them uh, colored in, I'm gonna show you how to do the actual um, making of the star. So let me point you guys down at the table so you can see what we're doing. So here we go. Um, I guess I forgot to mention that you are also going to need a pair of scissors. So you want to, I have mine with the flap facing down, and first you just want to glue all of them one on top of the other. So if you have a glue stick um, or some regular school glue, you're just gonna put some glue right in the middle here. Um, you kind of want to leave the sides free so that when we make the star they can expand so you really just want the glue here in the middle so i'm going to use my glue gun and you just want to match them up as best you can in a line So I had a little technical difficulty with my glue gun, so I just stopped recording and finished the gluing off camera. Um, but I also forgot to mention that the number of bags you need is eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they are all glued straight down the middle. So the next step is with your scissors, you just want to cut a triangle. So you want to cut basically kind of from the middle here down and down to make a point. It can be a little challenging because it is pretty thick. If you don't think, you can see my scissors are a little on the weak side for this. So if you don't think that you have a pair of scissors that's strong enough for this cut, you can also cut them by just matching a couple bags up to each other at a time and cutting them before gluing them all together. That'll work too. But I was successful and I got my point cut. It's a little bit messy in some parts, but that's okay. So. The idea is that you are going to be opening it all up so you can see how mine is pretty free. And then once I open it up, you can see all of the different colors. So what you want to do is take your glue and put it again right in the middle on one of them. And then you're going to open it up so that you glue this side all the way around to this side. So.
I'm gonna get a whole bunch of glue on there and then quickly get it open all the way up, match it up, and then push it together. Here we go. So, so what you're left with is this. Looks pretty cool. So you can see all of your artwork on both sides. And so now, what are you gonna do with your beautiful artwork? Well, you wanna hang it up, right? So you, where'd I put my hole punch? There it is. So you take your hole punch, you can look at your art and decide which part you want um, up at the top. I think this one looks good. So you're just gonna pop a hole right in there and take your string, put that through. And dye it at the top. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes even grown ups have trouble tying things, you know? And voila! There you have your project. So of course, the most fun part of this project is decorating all of the bags so that then you can see how they all come together after you glue them. I think that mine came out pretty good. I honestly had some doubts with um, if I was coloring them in a way that would go nicely all together, but I think it looks pretty good and I can hang it right in my window so that everyone in the neighborhood can see it. So I hope that you enjoyed making this project with me today. Um, if you decide to make your own, definitely let us know. And don't forget that when the Finkelstein Library reopens, we are going to have our Youth Services Art Show. So you can bring us your art that you made while you were in isolation, and we will hang it throughout the Youth Services um, area of the library. So if you make one of these, definitely bring it in and uh, we'll hang it up for you. Um, thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!